Hi everyone, how are you? It is Dr. Spickle, functional podiatrist and human movement specialist. I'm here to speak to you about how I use dry brushing with my patients as a neurosensory stimulant. Now a big part of what I believe as a movement specialist is what is called your body schema and the way that we are able to control our physical entity in space, whether that as, is as a professional athlete or that is trying to reduce falls. We need to be able to perceive ourselves in space. Now, one way that you can do that is by using dry brushing as a stimulant to all of these sensory nerves of our skin. After all, your skin is your largest organ. So what you need for dry brushing is a dry brush. Now you can find a dry brush on Amazon. They are several dollars. That is it. And when you do dry brushing, there is a specific technique because technically dry brushing also benefits circulation. So the circulation side of dry brushing means that we want to be doing it in a very specific way to support lymphatic flow and all of your lymph nodes are in very specific places in the human body. You have lymph nodes in your groin, you have in the back of your, heat of your knee, you have them in your armpit. So there's different places that we wanna make sure that we are bringing that blood flow back to and that lymphatic circulation. So added bonus, in addition to being a neurosensory stimulant, you're getting the lymphatic flow. So when I have patients do this neurosensory stimulant, you're going to take that dry brush and you're just going to start dry brushing. Tips of those toes all the way into your groin, to your fingertips, all the way up to your elbow. And then we're going to do a little bit here. I've got clothes on so I can't show you that, but I'll kind of demonstrate a little bit. So we're just going to start. You're going to take your dry brush and we're going to go on the tops of the feet, inside of the ankle. You can put a little bit more pressure in there if you want. I'm gonna get the bottom of my feet, wake up those guys, and then I'm just continuing up. Do you see how this takes like no time at all, right? Hello, get that circulation to get a little bit higher up, or then gonna continue all the way up, all the way, all the way into your groin. You're then going to do that other side, top of the feet, inside, inside, bottom of the foot, zipping around, right? Some people will actually say this is painful. It's really not painful, it's a stimulant. Right, I get a little tingle tingle in my skin all the way up, 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 all the way to my groin. I'm then going to do my hands, do that same stimulus all the way. Remember, we're working furthest from the heart back over to where your lymph nodes are. All the way, perfect, beautiful, boom. Do you see how easy that was? That did not take long at all. One, woke up all of these tingle tingle in my skin for a neurostimulant, got that lymphatic circulation, did not take long at all. What I would do for a patient that I'm trying to use this to connect to their body schema, stimulate, 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 and then I will connect to the body in a couple different ways, either by using something compressive, maybe I'll put on some wrist weights, I'm gonna take off the shoes and I'm gonna have my feet on the naboso mat, <sighs> and I'm just gonna to connect to my breath, to my heartbeats, and to the sensations of my physical body. Now, if you are not familiar with body schema, I encourage you to check this out. Learn more about how your movement optimization, whether you are a professional athlete or you are recovering from a stroke or neuropathy, means that you have to be able to connect to your perception of self. To learn more about high approach patients, please visit dremilyspickle.com. To learn more cool sensory tricks, head to naboso.com. Stay awesome. Have a great day.